I think it took a lot of convincing. Um, I mean, the original school was um, Passmore's in, in Essex, and the head teacher was um, Mr. Goddard. And I think he um, never liked to sort of say no to things, so it was a, a, a sort of massive challenge for him um, and a sort of brave decision but um, one that he sort of wanted, to, he could see the excitement and the sort of, the, 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 you know, that it could be something quite special. So, um, I mean, we, we approached hundreds of schools, um, but we mainly f focused on schools that had good or outstanding Ofsteads. So they had a sort of confidence about what they were doing. You know, we could be very clear that we weren't looking to sort of do an expose or anything like that on, on, on teaching. I'm, uh, I'm assistant head teacher at, at, at the school in, in Yorkshire um, on, on series two, I suppose. And it just transpired that one, the email that, that David's speaking about kind of pinged through one morning and the head teacher, Mr. Mitchell, I remember it to this day, he, he said in a meeting, he was like, I've had this email and it was almost dot, dot, dot. And then things kind of carried on from there. And um, you never really think it will be, you know, that, that, that our school will be picked and you kind of get down to the final 10 and then final five, but you still think, nah, it's, it'll be somewhere else. And then it becomes the final one and there's cameras in and you go back from your Christmas break and you put a radio mic on, on the uh, kind of um, in the car park in the freezing cold. And um, so yeah, it was very surreal. And then things calmed down for kind of six months while the, the edit was, was done and, and the, the, the production company were back and forth and, and working with the school a lot. Um, and then I don't think you can really prepare yourself too much for people go, you know, doing your job usually and then, and then people knowing who you are and what job you do and seeing everything about, about what you do at work, which is, um, but it's been, it's been really, really lovely, really, really kind of life affirming experience really. I think we, we could see the, the, the potential good it could do for the school. I mean, the, the, the school is in an area that does get some in terms of the media exposure in the last few, last few years has been fairly negative and it's been pretty much negative stories. And the head teacher, Mr. Mitchell's a local lad and he really has a passion for the place and wanted to put Dewsbury on the map for a, for a good reason and for a positive reason. And that was kind of one of the, the, um, the reasons we went into the documentary. And the school as well has, has been an incredible journey and we, we feel it's typical of, of some you know, brilliant work that goes on across the country. And um, to, to be a kind of beacon for that is, is, is a real, a real shot in the arm for the school and it, it of course it's strange of course it's surreal you never think um, I'm looking forward to going on telly because you know, I want to be famous it's not a case of that it's uh, you know there, there are nerves around it but by the same token it's it's a real pleasure and it's nice to you know to have had such a wonderful body of work and, and, and to be able to share it with the people at school I think it's worth mentioning as well there that the in terms of the sort of production process the team really build up strong relationships with the teaching mm. staff and the students. So by the time the rig goes in, actually you were so comfortable with all of the mm. team that it p didn't feel like such a huge, no, was, alien, frightening not at all. It, experience. It, it was, the people, the, the production company were absolutely incredible. Um, and they were wonderfully professional. And I mean, it, it speaks volumes that when they left, it, it, when the, when the rig went and the kind of 35 or, or 40 people who'd been there for a seven or eight weeks left, it, it, it felt, you know, it was almost like a sigh around the place. People missed, you know, people were missed. And it was, um, they became a real, really interwoven into the fabric of the school. And I think that made for people being confident in front of the cameras and um, you just get on with your day-to-day -day job because we, you know, we knew and we trusted. And, and that key thing is the trust, I think. They are universal themes. They're about teenagers growing up, heading towards the most important sort of exam period within their schooling lives. So that translates to every country around the world. So whether it's relationships between teachers and students in terms of the challenges that the teachers face and how they can help the students get the best grades possible, while also still dealing with everything else that a teenager throws at, at mm. you, from fallouts with friendships to um, boyfriend or girlfriend trouble, problems with parents. I mean, I guess that's what it's about, really. It's that level of, of teachers being yeah. more than just teachers mm. in today's society. It makes, it makes a really kind of sound political point, I think, does the, does the, the, the series that, is it a political point, a, a kind of a, a point for everybody that 
you can identify with at least one of the people with you know who featured in, in one of the two series so far and um, it, it just shows it, it, I think it, p people take it to their hearts because they realize actually teachers don't just you know it's not just turning up nine till three and doing this that and the other it it is more than a job it's a vocation and I, I think people have, have seen that and kind of linked into that and that's kind of universal that doesn't matter where you're from you know the UK or Australia or whatever and we get tweets from Australia and it because it's, it's running over there at the moment I think and it's incredible how the central themes are pretty much the, you know the same comments come from from whether it's in the UK or whether it's Australia it's um, it's great I think that that you see teachers as human beings and we've all experienced obviously school life and we never quite, there's always that fear around teachers a little bit. So seeing teachers as normal people, having a laugh, having a joke, you know, that warmth is, I guess, probably the thing that I think is most important. Having been on, on the show is a, a really unique opportunity to kind of look back at what you do and, and, and what you, you wish you did better. And I, for example, I wish I'd had a haircut, got some bigger shirts and uh, sorted my appearance out over the Christmas holidays. It's a very unique opportunity to look back at what you do and look at your practice. I mean, of course, it's, an, it's edited from, from many hours of, of footage, but you know, th that, that is who we are, whether it's the students, whether it's the teachers, whoever it is on the, on, on the, the documentary, it, they are representations of, of who we are. And it's like, I go back to the, the thing about the trust with the production company, they showed us as, as, as the human beings that we are. And, it helps with reflection, of course it does. Um, and it is nice to have that because not many people get that opportunity to, to, to look back in, in such a manner.